All right, we are calling the Mount Dora, Florida Library. Hi, who's this? Rashawn? Rashawn Ford, yes, sir. Oh, okay. Can you spell that for me real quick? Uh, it's, it's right on our website. Can I help you? Please? Yeah, I don't, I don't have internet. I'm on dial-up still on AOL on my dad's account. Welcome. You've got mail. Is there a voicemail or something that you could patch me through to for Miss Lundy? There is not, uh, because Miss Lundy does not give official statements on behalf of the city. Well, she sure did that day. She wrote an affidavit. The following video comes from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. Jeff, who is the godfather of First Amendment auditing. If you've been living under a rock for the last decade and are not subscribed to Jeff's page, please go do so now. This video is absolutely infuriating, and we're just going to do some highlights, and including the full phone calls to both the police and the library at the end of the video. So hang around to the end of the video. Are you on silence for a moment? No. No? Well, you're being trespassed. Why did you leave? Am I being trespassed? Yes, sir. Why? They don't want you here. You were begging for money. I need your ID first. I'm not giving any ID. This is an honor your oath government in the sunshine civil rights investigation. I encourage everyone to get engaged and get involved with their government. Just get out there and start attending public meetings. On Monday, December 12th, 2022 at 5 p.m., the city of Mount Dora, Florida, held a publicly noticed library advisory board public meeting. This public meeting was held at the W.T. Bland Public Library located at 1995 North Baker Street in Mount Dora, Florida. Out of curiosity, I decided to attend and record this public meeting and share my experience with you here on YouTube. I arrived about 15 minutes early and stood outside of the library on the public sidewalk to peacefully spread the message of God bless the homeless veterans until the public meeting started. Spreading this message of compassion for our homeless veterans is especially important during this holiday season. Hello. Hi. God bless our homeless veterans. Good evening. God bless home specials. God bless Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm the director. Um, we typically don't have paneling I, here. I can't hear what you're saying. We typically don't have paneling here. Our uh -huh. city police... Did she just say pandling? Is that a contraction of panhandling? Also, I'm going to be interrupting this video a little bit, so if you don't like it, go over to Jeff's and see the original. Don't bother complaining here. Nobody cares. These run a very... Um... The handbill solicitation is very restrictive. I can call them out here to discuss it with you if you'd like me to. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot block the aisle. You cannot make co direct contact with anybody. And that's just for, like, political. Yeah. Um, I don't believe, and that's handbills. I don't believe that, you know, I mean, you're free to stand yeah. with the sign anyway. Couple of small inspectors. But is this woman even speaking English for a librarian? This is subpar at best. You may not interact with patrons. Have, have a blessed day. You too. All right. Uh, why don't I just have them come out and explain it to you? I can't talk to people? No, you cannot. You cannot interact with them in any way. If they approach you, that you may. But the police have a very strict interpretation. Hey, have a blessed that, day. That is really not tolerated. God bless the homeless veterans. So, I'm sorry. That's just their rules, okay? I'm just going to have to respectfully disagree with you. I'm going right. to talk to people if I want to. All right. I will let them come and explain. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mount Dora Police Department, this is Tammy. Hey, it's Kathy Lundy, the director of the Mount Dora Library. I need a, an officer to come and um, let a patron know. We've got some, a gentleman that's soliciting um, our pa library patrons for money, 
and he's saying um, he's having a um, kind of a quasi-religious note in his direct approach to each one of them. I've tried to explain to him that our um, handbill and solicitation uh, guidelines prohibit direct solicitation, and he uh, refuses to listen and says he will interpret our statutes his own way. Where is he located? Right at the main entrance of the library. Inside or outside? Outside. He's got a homeless vet, please donate sign. Standing right there at the entrance. Um, like you're walking into the building, like not at the entrance out by Donnelly, correct? Right, as you're walking into the okay. building. Right there standing in the, in the main walkway. Okay. And what's your name again, ma'am? I'm sorry. I'm Kathy Lunday, the director. I'm going into my advisory board meeting. I'll have the assistant director, Lynn Gonzalez, here to handle any officer. Uh, my advisory board starts in two minutes. Okay. What's your phone number? Uh, well, it's the library, 735. Okay. We'll get an officer as soon as we can, okay? Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye. Delta MD 12 1065 signal 13 Papa zone 5. Go ahead. Signal 13 Papa 1995 North Donnelly Street at the WT Plan Library. Complain and advise at the main entrance to the library right outside. There's a white male heavy set wearing shorts and a dark t shirt. He's holding a sign that says homeless vet, please donate. He's harassing the patrons per the complainant. He's asking for money. He's refusing to leave. Both of which are false. I'm going to adjust the audio here so you can hear her better. Anyway, we had asked him to move over to the bench, but he kept moving into the front or in the middle here, directly in the path of everybody who walked in. All right. So, um, but just as I was coming over here, he's uh, gone into the building, I think. Um, are you guys requesting him trespassed? Possibly. We, we just wanted you to talk to him. All right. All righty. Oh, you guys think he's inside? I don't think he took off because it was too fast. I did see him in the hallway. All right. He's uh, probably close to your height, between yours and mine, um, kind of balding. Uh, I think he has shorts on and a t shirt, kind of longer shorts. All right. Well, let me go okay. give a gander inside. Absolutely. My, my director is in a meeting, but she wanted me to go over kind of what we've gone over before, you know, the new solicitation and inside the library and stuff like that. All right. Okay. This encounter is so disturbing and egregious, everybody should be seeking redress from the library and the police. Can you come outside with me for a moment? No? Well, you're being trespassed. So I need you to leave. Are you being trespassed? Yes, sir. What? They don't want you here. You are begging for money. I need your ID first. Am I getting your ID? Or then put your hands behind your back. Oh. All right, just come with me. Why am I, why am I being trespassed? Why? Private entity, sir. I don't have to give you ID. I'm leaving. You put those cuffs on way too tight. All right, that's fine. Can you please oh, my I will in a moment. I got to grab my other set. I'm not begging for money. I'm here to attend the court of public meeting and say God bless the homeless guy. You told me to leave, I was leaving. All right. And I don't have to give you ID if yes, I'm you leaving. Yes, you do. No, sir. Lawful do command. No, it is not. Yes, sir. It's unlawful command. There's case law, Florida State. All right. Supreme Court case That's law. fine. You are violating my civil rights, I'm telling you right now. All right, that's fine. You better see the caution for this court. You're hurting my right wrist. I know I'm trying to help you out right now, all right? All right. I will fix that. I was being trespassed, I was leaving. I don't have to give you ID for a trespass. All right. Well, you do. 
And whenever I told you to stop, you continued walking, disobeying another lawful command. Before then, when you were out in the hallway, sir, I need this real quick. Do you have anything on you that can poke, prick, or stick me? Yes, sir. I'm not asking. Yes, sir. Violation of my civil rights? Yes, sir. I have a right to stand on public property and say, God bless homeless veterans. I have a right to attend the report of public property. Yes, sir. That's all I'm doing. I've never asked anybody for money. I'm not asking anybody for money. I'm not homeless. Just real quick. All right, if I could have you have a seat for a moment. Twelve on door, one to ten. Ten, are you in the area? Ten four. We are not ten six. If I could have you in route, sir. That's my sergeant, sir. Okay, thank you. Hey, look, I'm not hostile, man. No, I no, just, no, no, no. You know, the I never claimed you were. Like I didn't, all right, I'll see if I can get a third pair to help you no, out. Not now. They work. They're fine now. All right. Fine. I apologize about that. That's all right. Sir, uh, her, Ms. Gonzalez, subject was here harassing all patrons as they were coming in. He was asked to leave. He refused. I uh, went walk around the library, saw him in the hall. I said, hey, come over here. He can, uh, disobeyed my lawful command, walked inside the room. I said, hey, man, you're being trespassed. He got up to leave, and I said, hey, I need your identification. He said, no, I refuse to identify myself. At that point, I detained him. Okay. All right, uh, he's one of those uh, First Amendment auditors, so I still don't have a name for him. He's booking me in his agenda. All right, and he said he wanted to talk to you. I will go get a statement from Ms. Gonzalez. Uh, he was oh, saying, this is my right, this is my right. You have no right to take me from here. I'm allowed to attend public forums. Is there a public forum? There is one going on in there right now. But he was creating a disturbance? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to get that from Kathy. Yes, ma'am. Do you have your uh, key so I can unlock the car if I need to or anything like that? Hello. Hi. All righty, so... Once you saw what happened, yes, uh, we do not know his name right now. He's refusing to give it to me. But if I could just have you fill out an affidavit about everything he was doing beforehand, that'd okay. be real helpful to me. Okay. All right. Can I go in there? And Absolutely. Okay. Do you need my driver's license or anything? Uh, just put your info in the back. That's fine. Okay. What is the uh, form going on right now? Um, that's a not a real advisory board. All right. Do yes. tell him I do apologize for... Yes. For what occurred. I didn't know he went in there. Not if I follow you. Thank you. How many times was he asked to leave prior to our arrival? Um, I think just once. once. Well, he wasn't asked to leave. He was just told that he could stay, but he because at that point he hadn't approached anybody. All right. He was never asked to leave. He was told he could stay. This is going to be great on the witness stand for Jeff's civil case. Um, but he was told to sit on the bench or move to the side, just so he wasn't in the you know in the walkway. All right. How do I start this? I don't normally do this. Oh, uh, so just whenever uh, you gave us a call, why you gave us the call. 
and whether or not you wished him to be trespassed. Okay. So you can read it. Alrighty, uh, can you put in there if you uh, request him trespassed or not? And if I could just have you sound right here stating that you uh, swear to the above statement. 12 on door, come I 1040. Alright, that is our case number and that's my business card right there. Okay. And if I could just have you fill out your information here, use the uh, library address as your address. Uh, or a driver's license, either one. Okay. Um, do you mind if I go get it? My office is way back there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you need to see my license? Uh, please. Did he identify himself to you? Yeah. Um, Alright, so you arrested him for... Right now it's going to be uh, resisting without. He gave him a lawful command to come to me and he went the opposite way. That is it. And what was the command for? To come over here. I mean, to what? To investigate what? Uh, trespassing complaint. They did want him trespassed. Okay. And then by him not coming to you, hindered you from being able to complete the trespass? Yes, and then when I asked for his identification, he refused to identify himself to me. If we just want to trespass him from this location and not do 1015, I didn't call out 1015. Right now, I just said one detained. Should be a felony to shut off a body worn yes, camera. Yes, fall. Oh, 
I apologize. This is gonna hurt. I, I, sorry for this, all right? All right, there it is. You don't have to twist your, the other way, there you go. The guy that just walked by, you said that was your son? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need to give him any belongings. You are not being arrested. So the reason you were detained is I was investigating a possible disturbing the peace violation, all right? And whenever I asked you to come towards me, that was not a resisting, essentially, but you did disobey a lawful command. Oh, I didn't hear you say come to me. All right, right when I said come to me, you walked in. So, hey, mistakes yeah. happen. So you are not under arrest on this, um, but you are trespassed from this facility. Uh, if you want to attend any public forums, you are allowed to go to City Hall still and attend any public forums over there. It's just from the library you are trespassed. Understood. All right, uh, you're free to grab all your belongings, sir. Ready? Have a good night. Have a bus line. And you want us to go get your son and let him know that you're being released? Ah, uh, he's probably just using the bathroom. Okay. All right, time for some phone calls, y'all. All right, we are calling the Mount Dora, Florida Library. Hey, Mount Dora, this is Rashawn. Hi, who's this? Rashawn Swartz, the name of Mount Dora. Rashawn? Rashawn Swartz, yes, sir. Oh, okay. Can you spell that for me real quick? Uh, it's, it's right on our website. Can I help you? Yeah, I don't, I don't have internet. I'm on dial-up still on AOL on my dad's account. Uh, I'm, I'm calling, my name's Johnny, I'm a journalist calling from uh, Los Angeles, calling on a recorded line. Uh, I wanted to know if Kathy Lundy is available. She is not. Okay. Do you guys understand, do you guys are uh, familiar with the incident that took place with the arrest, not arrest of uh, activists uh, at your library a couple of weeks ago? I am I'm sorry? I am familiar, yes. Do you guys realize that you may have jumped the gun a, a little bit on what exactly Mr. Gray was doing on site that day? So, so while I can absolutely re respect uh, that you may have questions in that regard, unfortunately, because there have been threats of litigation, the city will not comment on litigative matters. Okay. Well, I mean, this. listen, I, I, I'm no attorney but this seems like a kind of a slam dunk case of just seems like a, a a comedy of errors of people not doing uh due diligence and assumptions of what mr gray was doing with his sign that he was not soliciting funds even though that is uh still covered under uh, the first amendment of free speech is there a voicemail or something that you could patch me through to for miss lundy there is not uh because miss lundy does not give official statements on behalf of the city. Well, she sure did that day. She wrote an affidavit for the police and the police solicited a trespass. I mean, she just, she did whatever they wanted. I mean, so she, she did make an official statement. So was that above her jurisdiction of what she's able to do? Or, I mean. So in an official statement and affidavit are, are two, two uh, different things. Okay, well, I, I would urge, I would urge Miss Lundy and anyone else uh, under her to look up the words trespass, investigate, uh, solicitation, uh, freedom and tyranny, for starters. So, um, I, I think it's absolutely appalling of what took place uh, at your library, and I hope you will be taking some corrective measures so this sort of incident does not take place again. I, I can absolutely appreciate your call, sir. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, that's it. Thanks. So we're going to call the Mount Dora, Florida Police Department. A quick aside, here is a body-worn camera of some police brutality from May of 2022. Let's check this out real quick, see what heroes we're dealing with. Are y'all really taking all these personnel to... Turn around. Just... Turn around. Turn around. All new right now at 6, 9 Investigates is looking into the actions of a Mount Dora police officer after this takedown during a traffic stop. The video was recorded on police body cameras while officers were arresting a man who refused a field sobriety test. Mount Dora Police Department, 352-735-7130. Hi, I wanted to know if I could speak with an officer, please. Okay, 
Okay, can I ask in reference to what? Uh, a criminal matter. Okay. Hold on just a moment. Thanks so much. Thank you for holding. I'm going to put you through to Officer Post, okay? Stand line, don't hang up. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Hello? Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, this is Officer Post with the Mount Door Police Department. How can I help you tonight? Hi, uh, what's, what's your last name? P-O-T-H. P-O-T-H. Oh, hey, how are you? Yes, my, name, my name's Johnny. I'm calling from Los Angeles. Um, uh, I want to, first of all, I want to give a thank for all the uh, boys and gals in blue for their exemplary service for the city of uh, Mount Dora. Uh, I saw a video online by one of those police antagonists just looking to get a rise out of people. I found it appalling. Um, but I, I, are you familiar with the video in question or the incident? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Okay, yeah. It's been brought to our attention multiple times already, so. Yeah, I mean. We get, we get calls about that every day. Okay, so. I mean, I will, I, I, you know, I do have to overlook that the librarian got it wrong, what he was doing there on the scene. Um, you know, that he wasn't seeking donations at all, but um, also need to overlook the fact that the first officer on the scene took the librarian at her word that he was seeking handouts. Uh, suffice it to say, I need to overlook the fact that the officer did zero, not a nilch investigation into the offenses. And since we're on the subject, I'll have to overlook that Mr. Gray was placed under arrest and then unarrested when the sergeant showed up on scene. Um, also, one little tidbit when the sergeant started instructing the officer to turn off his body worn camera seemed a little bit disturbing, but I'm able to look past all of that because I support uh, law enforcement. Is there a reason that is that standard protocol for to be able to turn body worn cameras off or is that? Um, the only thing I can um, direct you to right now is um, to speak with my supervisor regarding that. I am actually still in training. Okay. So. That's the only issue well, right now. well, that was a great, that was a really great training video. Then of, of, I mean, it just it seemed like a uh, almost a comedy of errors and just t taking. I, I don't I don't understand how people take the nine one one callers completely at their word. Uh, it just seems like a kind of dangerous uh, scenario yeah, to get like somebody said, into. Um, I mean, if you if you would like to discuss this um, with somebody higher than me, yeah, I can absolutely do that. Yeah, I can, if I you, can have you uh, speak to my supervisor. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, um, give me give me one moment. Okay? Great, thanks so much. Let me see. Uh, How is it that he hasn't? Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Corporal Andriano with the Mother Police Department. Corporal, what what's your last name? Andriano. Andriano, how are you doing? Um, good, how are you, sir? good. I just i i wanted to uh, i wanted to call regarding the the uh, incident with the the police antagonist that was uh, at the library. Okay. Um, is is it is it regular procedure for the uh, Mount Dora Police Department to turn off body worn cameras? Is that or? So unfortunately, sir, anything that's related to the library incident, they're having us forward to our public information officer with the city. Uh, okay. So if you would like to speak regarding the matter, I can give you his number. I mean, this just seems like a slam dunk lawsuit, and just it just seems it it just seems really, really, really horrifically embarrassing for the police department right. to take it the 911 caller at her word, and you know, especially somebody who's a librarian, you'd think she would do a little bit more due diligence on. Um, so, and, and, and I understand, but again, unfortunately I have to, we have to forward everything yeah. to our PIO. Would you like his number? What, uh, what, what day of the, of the academy do they teach you how to solicit a trespass to a business? I was curious for that. So, sir, and again, unfortunately, if you have any questions related to that incident, I have to forward them to our PIO. Oh, uh, sure. That'd be great. Okay. Wonderful. So would you mind hanging on the phone and I'll grab the number for you? Great, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Hey, sir, I have that number when you're ready. Sure, go ahead. All right, it's going to be 
going to be 352-735-7142, and the extension is 1616. Great. Thanks so much. And that's Mr. Ford. Mr. Thank Ford. You're very welcome. Have a nice day. Great. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, just wanted to leave a message and uh, let you know that you guys are doing a hell of a job down there. I mean, the investigation process into uh, whether somebody is uh, committing the crime of the century of, of panhandling is, is second to none. You guys are an absolute embarrassment to law enforcement everywhere. Congratulations. And uh, what, a, what a great stain on, on the city of Dora Dora or whatever the hell your city's name is, Florida. So um, great job. Great job. Uh, you should uh, be paying uh, Mr. Gray an invoice for the amount of training that this video is going to provide for your officers. But, uh, you know, I mean, he's only had his channel for like a decade plus, but I mean, no big deal. You know, but uh, doesn't doesn't really matter until it comes into your own backyard. So uh, I don't care what anybody else says. You guys are doing a hell of a job. Thanks, man. So there you have it. I can't even believe what took place during this incident. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you go and subscribe to uh, Jeff Gray over at Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. As I said earlier, he is the godfather, the OG. He's been doing this for uh, at least 15 years or so, showing that photography is not a crime. So thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already and you like the content, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Leave a comment below, and we will see you in the next video.